Hello, everyone. We are going to be playing a two-player playthrough of Kingdom Builder. Uh, it's now my turn. I'm, I'm going first. Um, in this game, we've got the um, discoverers, hermits, and farmers. Um, the most valuable point card in this game is probably farmers. Farmers is going to give us three points for uh, every settlement in the in whichever one of the four sectors we hit the lowest number of settlements in so what that means is we have to try and get as many um so sort of an equal number of settlements in every single sector ideally 10 each because there's 40 settlements all together um we've got the barn location tile which allows us to move uh one existing uh, settlement to uh whatever terrain type card we draw we've got the harbor uh location tile in the top right sector which allows us to move to water uh, we've got the tavern location tile in the bottom right which allows us to place uh, a, a locate uh, one of our settlements uh, to the end of three existing settlements that, that that are in a straight line and finally in the bottom right corner we've got the oasis uh, location tile which allows us to place um, a settlement on a desert i think what I'm going to do is get this tavern uh, location tile by placing three in a row. Hopefully, unless the opponent blocks us, we can uh, uh, extend our line uh, upwards to try and get more discoverers points. But that's going to be our move for now. Our next terrain. Uh, uh, card that we're going to draw is going to be the uh, the chasms, which we're not currently touching, so that allows us to uh, go somewhere else on our board if we want to. And since Hermit is in the game, I'm probably going to take the uh, move to water harbor tile. That's going to allow us to uh, move our tiles to water. Uh, so I got that that location tile. I've now got uh, three settlements in my top right and three in my bottom left. So I, I always keep a running track of, of how many settlements I have in every sector whenever the farmer's card uh, is in play. I'm going to use the uh, tavern tile to extend this by one, and then I'll finish my move. So. Right now in the top left corner, I've got zero settlements, three in the top right, four in the bottom left, and zero in the bottom right. So right now, zero, three, four, zero, if I'm counting uh, left to right, uh, top to bottom. So that tells me that I, since I've got zero in the top left and bottom right sectors, I need to work on that and try and get uh, um, more settlements into the sectors that I have the lower number of settlements in. I'm going to grab this uh, this oasis tile from the uh, bottom right sector. I'm going to use my tavern to extend this more to try and get more uh, try and get more discoverers points by putting at least one element on every row. And finally. I'm going to move this to water. I don't have any uh, existing settlements in my top left sector, so I think I'll uh, I think I'll go there. So right now my running count for farmers points is one, three, five, and two, and that's going to be my move. So one, three, five, two is my running count. I think I'm going to I'm 
go there and get this second. I'm planning on uh, using the Oasis tile to go here and get the second Oasis location tile. But before, I, but when I do that, I'm going to be touching water. So I want to use my Harbor tile to do something else. I'm going to go, go here and And now I'm going to undo that move. And I'll take this move and put it here. And then finally use my tavern tile to uh, extend this upwards. So I've still got one, three, six, and six is my running count for farmers. And that's the end of my move. Okay, it's so my move again. I've drawn a flower terrain tile, terrain card. Uh, what I'm going to do first is use my two oasis tiles to touch and obtain this second tavern tile. The more tavern tiles, the better, especially the more uh, placement tavern tiles you have, means the more settlements you can place on every turn. That'll, uh, that'll result in you hopefully placing all your settlements before your opponent has a chance to place all of theirs that will give you a phenomenal advantage by letting you end the game uh earlier than uh, than everyone else what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get this barn uh location tile because since uh, Hermits is, the Hermits card is in the game, um, the barn location tile and the harbor location tile will help us move uh, tile, uh, move settlements to other locations, thereby creating gaps between our uh, our uh, our settlements that will get, get us more uh, more Hermits points because the Hermits point card allows or gives you points for every separate uh, settlement or cluster of settlements that you have. So the more uh, the more isolated you are. As hermits would be, um, the uh, the more points you're going to get. Uh, I will use my tavern tile to extend this and touch this castle in my bottom left sector to get three more points. And finally, um, And that's going to end my turn. My farmer's points count for uh, settlements and sectors is five, three, eight, and six. So my top right sector is still my least populated with only three. So I need to work on that. Okay, I'm definitely going to touch, well, I want to touch this uh, castle in the top left sector for three more points. But before I do that, I think I'll place a desert here. 
then I'm going to use the barn to take this middle settlement in the uh, in my bottom right sector. So when I take that away, I create one, two, three separate uh, clusters of uh, settlements for three points. I'm going to use that to put it over there and get a uh, get three more additional points for touching the castle. Um, okay, I just happen to have three in a row here. So if I use my uh, tavern tile, that should extend it by one and get me my final um, final location tile. I now have all lo seven location tiles in the game. While my opponent only has five, that puts me in a, in a pretty powerful position. Um, wait. I'm going to place one more desert here. I've created another uh, cluster of this shape, and then using my harbor tile, I can remove the middle one, giving myself three points. And place it over there. That's the end of my turn. Let me do another quick uh, farmer's count. I've got 10 in my top left sector, three in the top right. nine in the bottom left and eight in the bottom right so we got ten three nine eight once again the top right sector is uh is underpopulated i got to work on that and i can i should be able to do that now because i just i know i've drawn a a flower terrain card if i extend this this row by one using the tavern tile that'll let me touch the um, flower terrain in the top right corner i should be able to uh, get into that territory and increase my population in that top right sector because right now i'm only getting nine points from the farmer's card because i only have three um, three settlements in the top right sector and the farmer's card gives you three points per settlement in your sector with the fewest number of settlements. So right now I'm at nine. I need to bring that up. Every additional settlement I place in the top right sector will give me three more points, so it's worth it. Right, it's our turn again. So once again, just to recap, our uh, settlement count by sector is 10, 3, 9, 7. As we count from left to right, top to bottom, I'm going to extend this row by one. So now we're at 11, 3, 9, 7 for our sector count. And that allows me to, uh, to get into the uh, top right sector this way. So. So right now I'm at 10998 for my uh, 
account. Let me remove this one. My current count is 9999, which means I have nine um, settlements in each one of my sectors. So the lowest number of points I'm getting for farmers is, uh, is 9 times 327. Maybe I can get some more in there. Um, This should be my last move of the game because I've only got four settlements left. I'm trying to get. I'm going to try and get one settlement each into each of the four sectors. That'll give me a perfect farmer score of uh, ten sectors in each, ten settlements in each sector, which will give me thirty points. It's back to me. I've drawn a desert terrain card, and I want to get one on each. So I'm going to go. So one in the top left. One in the top right, one in the bottom left, and Okay, I now I believe we have ten wait. Well, let's start that again. I'll put one here. One here and one there. Now we've got 10 in each of our sectors except the bottom left. So what I'm going to do is just use the barn to take this middle thing here from the bottom right sector and place it there. That creates three individual um, settlements, which is going to give me three points for, uh, for sectors, which hold on. Wait, I messed, I messed that up too. Hold on. Thank you. 
Okay, now we've got 10 on each sector, so we've got to try and... Uh, So now we've got 10, I believe, and settlements in every sector. There you go. And I'm out of settlements, so uh, my game's done. Just have to wait for the opponent to uh, finish their final move. We got 30 points from farmers. We did pretty good on, uh, on hermits as well. Because the opponent seems to be very, they seem to have lots and lots of uh, clusters of, uh, of settlement. I think we might be beating him on that. For the discoverers, it looks like we hit every row except for two, so we got two points for that. We got 16 hermits points, they got 10, so we're, we're up by six in hermits and one in discoverers, so we're up by seven points already. We got 30 for farmers, they got 24, so that's another six. We're up by 13, and we're touching two castles, so we got six points. And so are they. So we're up by, th we won the game by 13 points. Yeah, 70 to 57. That's a 13 point uh, margin. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if uh, you like what you see, please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you noticed any, you know, any mistakes or errors that we made, or, or you think you have better strategies that we should have done instead, or better moves, please let us know in the comments. Uh, and until next time, uh, happy gaming, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.